Okay, guys, so this is going to be our first reaction uh, to the George Floyd video. So I want you guys to stay with me. And at the end of the video, if you like our comments, whatever the case may be, subscribe to the channel. Okay? He said he was clustered. Right. A couple of times. That was the second time he checked his pockets. Yeah. I'm going in. 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 I'm not that kind of guy. I'm not that kind of guy, man. I'm going to die here. I'm going to die, man. You need to take a seat right now. And I just had COVID, man. I don't want to go back to that. Hey, I'll roll the window down. Hey, listen. Dang, man. Listen. Kind of oh, he's already sitting on that in the dim. He was already in the patrol car. Oh, you can see, you can see right there. I don't know if you guys can see on the corner of the uh, of the uh, the back window. That's the actual guy who uh, who we ended up. Look at look at that guy. You can he see him. him. Yeah. yeah. I'm not trying to win. I'm not trying to win. So the so the news could not get him in the in the vehicle, basically. Yeah. So I guess if the noobs couldn't, if all the newbies couldn't get him in the vehicle, I guess the superior officer would be frustrated by this point. Correct, correct. I'm not making that an excuse, but just kind of like context to the situation. Okay. Okay, man, okay. I'm not a bad guy, man. In the car. I'm not a bad guy. Ah, ah. He's already in the he's already in the patrol car. I don't know why he was because he's he's claustrophobic. He's having he's having a what panic he's doing? attack. That's what I wanted to talk about. He's having a freaking why panic Why did they attack. pull why did they pull him? They pulled him through the other side of the door. They could have just closed the door on. Well, he's a big guy and it's six, five, yeah. his legs were still out of the field. Wow. This is it, and we know the story. And you have to, and you have to also remember that these are the newbies, so they yeah. really don't know what they're doing. <laughs> so that's the end of the video, Lisa. What do you think? So what I wanted there, there was, there's a, a, a couple of things. Uh, number one, I had mentioned before about how officers are not trained or do not know or are not able to recognize mental health issues. Remember I told you that my dear friend um, suffered from PTSD. He um, had an attack when he saw the officer had approached his vehicle with a weapon and mind you, it was just a traffic stop. Correct. Um, and, and he ended up <laughs> getting shot. And, it, and it's because um, officers do not know how to recognize mental health issues. And I'm looking at this and the fact that he, before anything happens, he says over and over again that he can't breathe. He can't breathe already. You know, he can't breathe. He's claustrophobic. He mentions that he has anxiety. Like he's having a full blown panic attack. So that's why they can't get him under control because he himself is not under control. Now, um, I looked up like his, the, the um, what do you call it? The cause of death, what is it? The coroner's report or whatever. Well, which by the way, um, 
as far as for the city coroner, I've only, or medical examiner, I've only seen the preliminary. I haven't seen their final. I don't know if they're saving it for court or not. But um, so things that can cause panic attacks are the, uh, the drugs that were in his system, both the marijuana, the, the meth, um, those can trigger panic attacks. But believe it or not, also a heart attack. And it says that this dude, uh, he had serious heart disease. Um, he had seventy. He had seventy-five percent blockage, uh, I guess, in one artery and ninety percent in another. Um, so I'm wondering if he was having a heart attack. And I say this because the paid medical examiner. Uh, said, oh yeah, this it's, it's asphyxiation, but there's no physical evidence of asphyxiation. I told you from the beginning that that didn't sit well with me because why would there not be anything to the soft tissue, especially since the medical examiner said that the officer was still had his knee on his neck for a whole two minutes after he was unresponsive. So if he had, if he was, if he had no pulse at that point, if he was dead at that point, and the body is no longer healing itself, that soft tissue most definitely should be bruised in some form or fashion. And you know that to be true. Just think about when you uh, manhandle chicken. Okay, it, it, the soft tissue is going to bruise. So that whole thing that the paid medical examiner. Uh, said that there's that it was asphyxiation, but there's no physical evidence of, of asphyxiation. Just never sits well with me, and wow. I'm wondering if the guy was having a heart attack. That is uh, that is a very good. Uh, uh, we need a doctor in the fucking line. Do we have any doctors <laughs> on the chat? Do we have any doctors in the chat room or something or any, anybody with uh, medical experience uh, uh, that, that is willing to give their professional uh, take into this? This is what you think, man. You know, you have some kind of medical uh, 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 training background, you know. All right. So what Lisa was saying about. I'm not going to get into the corner and all that other stuff. I'm going to get into what the video says. Um, from the interactions from the beginning, uh, you can obviously see. So now I know who the person was. So it wasn't a veteran, right? Because th these videos are, this is one body cam, correct? Yeah. So it wasn't a veteran. It was one of the uh, the newbies, let's just say that, trying to show off. Okay. So he goes there. He's being really, really, really direct to the point, whatever, their interaction. As soon as that door opens, that's when uh, you're supposed to uh, assess the situation. I don't think he did it properly. Uh, once the handcuffs got onto the individual um, and he was put on the seat where he's at right now, he actually said, he actually gave a count out. George Floyd gave a count out. He said, one, two, three. He said, all right, in the count of three, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get into the vehicle. Um, I don't know if you guys missed that, but that's what he said. And they said, okay, cool. All right. From that point, you know, something happened. So either, you know, they didn't, you know, the, the vernacular in which it was speaking, you know, they were saying, we don't care about what you're saying, blah, 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 da, da, da. No, your job from the moment that you make that first initial reaction, your job is to just listen and hear everything okay that's where you can get a lot of uh people confessing to things um without you even reading them the rights you know they say yeah i stole this da, da. oh okay cool okay cool all right tell me more you know and that's how you can get away from the legal uh oh you violated his rights i didn't say anything he said that willingly but the fact that they shut him off and said you shut up, you do this, they're, they're already being the judge, 
all right, for the case, right? They don't know what's happening. They didn't, they never told, they never told George Floyd what he was being pulled over for when he knocked on the door. Correct. Right? So hey, what's going on, officer? Hey, put your hand on the damn. So immediately, me, if you tell me put your hand on the damn stand, whoa, 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 whoa. Tell me what I'm being, uh, why are you wasting my time today? You know? Of if course, feel- George Floyd knew. He probably assumed that they called the police on him because of the fake bill. Probably went to his car, tried to get away. That's what I'm assuming. Yeah, clearly. But still, the, the police officer has to inform him. Correct. Uh, you know, hey, I'm pulling you over for this. You know, hey, it's just a suspicion of this. You know, hey, look, this is how easy it would have went. Hey, look, I'm not here to, to say you did it or did not do it. Just come with me. We're going to take some questions, you know. And, and that's it. You know, I have a job, you have a job. Let's, let's, and he also, he also, George Floyd said, Hey, th- he knows me. This guy knows me. I'm not your enemy. I, he, he knows me. Like I'm claustrophobic. I'm this, that, and there. Okay. And then when they got him on the ground, he said, I can't breathe. You're like, you're, you're speaking. So you can breathe. I heard that. I heard one of the officers say that. And a lot of officers, they'll say that because that's what a dark humor is. Whatever. That's something that's not really supposed to be released to the public. Um, but I'm glad it was released there. But that is like a locker room talk where guys say, you know, dark humor stuff. Hey, hey, hey shut up. You know, shut the hell up. Blah, 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 blah. But it wasn't professional at all. Uh, you, do you agree that he's clearly having a panic attack? I agree. Like, he's having this was a this was a mental episode. I agree that he is, uh, so it could go two ways. I'm going to play devil advocate. He could be doing this to get my guard down and to inflict bodily harm to me, right? So what I do as a officer is, okay, you're having such and such. Okay, cool. Okay, you're doing this. All right, so have a seat. Take a seat on the sidewalk. Go ahead and assess yourself, okay? Because Literally, from the time that I knock your window, we can stay there all day. We can stay my whole shift. We can stay there my whole shift. Okay. I mean, you so can you, we can see we can see that right whatever. now. We can see that right now. But I mean, we don't know. We, that's based on you. We don't know based on those guys. Maybe maybe he want to take a shit. Maybe the other guy wants to fucking go home. Uh, maybe it was the the end of the, uh, the, the the duty day. Yeah, but we train. What do we train to? We train to standard, not yeah, to time. Yeah, that's correct. Train to standard. So, time, yeah. so, so once again, I'm saying is the courtesy and the professionalism, that's where it comes in at. And you can see these rookie cops. Uh, I've seen a lot of individuals that are rookie. They couldn't do their job, and they got chastised by the senior cop on duty because it's like, come on, rooks. You couldn't get this guy in the car. Like, like who gives a damn what he's saying? Get his ass in the car. And that's kind of the mentality they had. And of course they have, I don't think they're a rookie. I think they, they all know each other. I think they worked with each other before. I yeah, mean, but three, three of them were new um, people. I think one of them was only on the job for like four days or something like that. <laughs> Yeah, it's a panic attack. Yeah, there's a, a, there's, a, there's, a where, there's a point where there's a point where George Floyd. I, I, I think it's a panic attack. There's a point where George Floyd recognized the guy that he used to work at the club before, and he's like, "Oh, I used to work with you." And then, uh, like, uh, like a minute after that, he's like, hey, "I'm not working with you right now," you know, like because the other officer was the first one on the scene, so he's taking charge of the case, uh, and I think that's what he was referring to. So. Uh, I and mean, then you can even see the checking of the pockets. So I know a lot of people don't catch that, but you've already inspected him already. Then you went back and did it again. So that shows a sign of uh, unsureness, a, shine, a sign of uh, uh, you're not used to doing this type of thing because um, it's called searching somebody systematically and thoroughly. Okay. You break the body in half. You get the left side, then the right side. You don't go back over to the left side after you searched it and go back over to the right side. You don't do that. You break it down, you do it. And once you do it all the time, it becomes uh, muscle memory, but it's not really muscle memory because your memory, your muscles don't retain memory. It's mental memory, okay? So it's, oh, okay, boom, I check this, I check that, bump. That's it. 
it, it, it comes like clockwork. So the fact that I saw them check him twice was showing that he was either looking for gratification or, or he just didn't know what the hell he was doing. Maybe he's the brand spanking new one. And, well, and that's another question, Diesel, I would have for you. If, let's say, so somebody called in the crime, right? Um, before they approach the vehicle, they do license plate check. Like, they know who they're going to get, right? So they know that he has a history of violence. Is do do you think it's appropriate to send brand spanking news to somebody who has a history of violence? So yes and no. They have to get their experience. Um, but as far as sending them straight in into the cauldron of fire, no. You're supposed to have your supervisor closely there with you. It's an OJT type of process in which you know you're being you're being graded. You're being graded. So, I mean, but uh, I, I think this is this is the reason why why they there were so many people on the scene, you know, uh, because they were new, you know, they were new. They call. I mean, they haven't they haven't even uh, uh, checked the uh, the individual's uh, information, you know. They, yeah, uh, right. at, until that point, they they didn't knew he was George Floyd until the other guy was like, "Oh yeah, I know who you are," you know. Yeah, so. correct. So they broke all high profile. It, it's just like it's just like a, a surgeon. Uh, what is it? The, the 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 people who learn to be surgeons in school, they have to learn some way. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they might be going under the knife. You know, with you there, yeah. But there is a director or whoever is OJTing them. They're closely with them, so they might just give them the knife and say, "Hey, I want you to tie this off real quick." Let me see how it is. And he'll do it and say, all right, so this is how I would do it, blah, 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 blah. But you see how the weapon is drawn, all that other stuff, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have done that. You know, I'd see both hands. Hey, put your hand on the stairwell. Okay, cool. Uh, you know, he is still acting irate, but he is, he is speaking to him and saying, please, come on, man. Don't do this. Come on. I didn't know. All right, just step out the vehicle. You know, this is when you back up from the vehicle. Uh, give me your keys. Throw your keys out on the ground uh, so you don't take off with the vehicle and stuff. You know, it's just command and control, and that that that's something you learn after years of experience dealing with uh, with these high profile people. So, Ricky, what do you what do you think? Um, do you as far as with this information, accompanied by his oh, hold on, Lisa. medical history. See, his gun is put away now. So he went from escalation, high escalation. And then you can go up and down the escalation of uh, escalation of force now. All right. You can you can show a uh, de deadly presentation and you can go all the way back down the shouting, whatever. Right. But what I'm saying is he jumped too, too, too far up there. He, he, he was showing deadly force on, on the initial interaction. Then he went in. So if I was him, right, if I felt my life was in danger and I have to draw my weapon, I'm telling my friend, right, hey, go ahead and pull him out the car. But I'm, 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 I'm maintaining security on him. OK. I'm not putting, I'm not holstering my weapon yet. I'm, I'm putting security on him. He felt comfortable enough to holster his weapon, pull him out the car, get him out. So that's just me quarterbacking right now, but you know, and you see how, how they're speaking to the, the female and the other people that are not involved into it. You know, you could have talked to George Fuller the same way. Hey, where's your identification? You got any identification on you? No. All right, cool. Well, tell me what's going on, da da da, because da. they're just trying to—they're trying to get a medal, and it's a, it looks like it's a black neighborhood. Uh, they're not really—I'm just saying—it looks like a black neighborhood because three black people, but <laughs> it could be a white neighborhood. But uh, it looks like a black neighborhood, or whatever, and it looks like uh, once again these cops were we're put, you know, they put a battery in these, in these cops backs and they tell them go out there and save the world. And that's the issue. Don't police, don't, don't win the hearts and minds, go out there and, and get as much, as much arrest out there. Cause all these people are criminals. 
I'm done. I'm off my uh, soapbox. Uh, thank you, Diesel. Lisa, what was your question? Um, so, Ricky, with this information, along with the prior video, and knowing his medical history by the paid uh, medical examiner, what, do, what is your, did your prior assessment change or is it still the same? You know, Lisa, uh, you know, it's, it's good that you asked that, that question, you know, uh, uh, because I, I, have, I have asked myself that question since I saw the video. Uh, uh, and then, uh, you know, I think, I think I've been, uh, you know, I've been, we've been too, we're being too, uh, um, uh, picky when it comes to what's, ha what's happening during the video, you know, now we know about the, uh, the events. Now we know about this. Now we know about that. Now we know about so many details, you know, and then probably in a couple of weeks, we're going to know more because, you know, people are going to go to court and then, uh, people are going to get into jail sentences, X, Y, and C. But I mean, I, th I think that, that my point from this point forward is going to be that, that the man is, on, is in custody. He has handcuffs, okay? And after, after you put the handcuffs, you know, you call for backup, and the backup arrive. And then, uh, uh, I mean, and you have the man inside of the patrol car at one point. So, so uh, I mean... I mean, the, the reasons why he died is, 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 is not just one little thing. It's not just that the officer put his knee on his, uh, his neck, it's, but it's also that he was going under this uh, uh, episode, you know, mental breakdown, uh, panic attack, heart, heart attack, whatever. Uh, drugs, you call it whatever. What I see, the guy, is that for, for what I see in this video, eight minutes, you know, they got, they, they got control of the guy, you know. They move it from the car across the street into another patrol car. Yep. And yep. and uh and 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 when that happened, you know, they were able to continue talking to them. I mean, I mean, this this could be prevented. Uh the loss of the individual I, and then I joke a lot. I joke a lot about, you know, the the gray, the gray loss of uh or, or the, the biggest loss of America, George Floyd. You know, I, I kind of make those kind of stupid jokes once in a while. Probably too often. Uh but I mean just watching the video, putting everything together, you asking me that question on the spot right now. Uh, I gotta tell you that uh, uh, that uh, uh, I mean, he was he was in custody, man. It was it was it, it, it's it's not just one person's fault; it's everybody who is involved here fault, you know. Um, and I, I'm glad that the, those guys were there with the camera when they took this this uh, this incident, and I'm glad that the. Uh, that America went into these uh, damn riots, and I'm glad that all the thing that happened, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, like the first day, and then you know, I know we know how everything turned from being a, a George Floyd thing into being a Democrat thing, into being a political issue, into being a, a, a Antifa and looters, and and you know nothing about George Floyd. You know, George Floyd is being you know buried for for weeks, almost almost a uh, uh, months probably. Uh, and we're still burning Amazon. Uh, uh, so, uh, based based on based on your question, Lisa, I I I, ha I change I, I gotta change my mind. And then even even though the guy died because whatever reasons, I mean, we got I, I gotta say that he was under custody, man. There were there were like five officers there. You know, they 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 could they could easily uh, uh, change the course of what happened here. I'm very sad for him for his uh, for his loss. Uh, for his family, uh, for his, uh, you know, who knows? Um, but well, I, cannot, I have to I, tell you that I, I have. I cannot blame. I right cannot blame, now, I'm at reasonable doubt. I cannot. I cannot blame. I cannot blame every officer. You know, I know you were gonna say that shit. I knew you were gonna say that shit. What do you uh, mean I, reasonable? I, there we go. Because uh, be, I, what I need is the city's medical examiner's final yeah. report. The only yeah. thing that I have seen is the preliminary, which doesn't really say that much. But the paid medical examiner, I'm sorry, but it just, what yeah. he says just does not make sense. They're gonna walk. It, <laughs> it just does not make yeah. sense. 
you're telling me that he died of asphyxiation, even though there's no evidence yeah. of asphyxiation. He's going to walk. That you know what that does? Reasonable doubt. <laughs> yeah. He's going to walk. So I walk. need the other medical examiner's final report. So I am not convinced that the cause of death was asphyxiation. Yeah, that is correct. I'm not saying it wasn't. I'm just saying that I'm not yet convinced. There has not been enough information presented to convince. They, 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 there's no more information, Lisa. This is it. There is. There's the city medical examiner's report. I need that report. Yeah, but but to change your what mind. What is his opinion? Yeah, that that will that will be that will be a one person's opinion. You know, I mean, you it has to be anonymous. You know what I mean? He's the one that did the autopsy. That I think I think the officer's gonna walk. <laughs> the officer's gonna that's walk. That's the report that I need, not the paid guy yeah. who didn't do the autopsy. I need the guy who actually had the the body on his table cut right. him up. Yeah. That's the report I need. I need that guy's report. I'm gonna tell you right now, the officer, the officer who's being prosecuted for this is gonna walk. He's gonna turn around. He's gonna sue the city. He's gonna make some money, and he's gonna go into federal, uh, a federal protection. And guess what? He's gonna be. He's gonna end up. He's <laughs> I gonna. I don't know about all he's that. Gonna, he's gonna die out of out of age at uh, 90 with with a pina colada and some no, Caribbean. He he's I'm not gonna be you. able to sue the city because he didn't follow protocol. But the city, so, but the, the city fired so him right gonna, away. He's not going to be able to fight because uh, he's a he's a re, repeater, and a, and yet again here he is not following protocol. He's not going to be able to sue the city. But 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 I mean the, the protocols were were, were not fought. he wasn't the officer on charge. On, on, of the of the of the uh, on the. Uh, that's the reason why why he tells uh, George Floyd, "I'm not working with you right now," because I don't have the case. So the but other he's officer, the one that had the knee, so that's it, not protocol. Yeah, no, but I mean, but he, he wasn't. He did not follow protocol. He's 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 already he's already been busted before, and for not following protocol, excessive force, and this and that and the third. He's not going to have a. He can file whatever he wants for wrongful termination, and they're going to laugh him out of court. <laughs> well, let's see. You know, time will tell. But well, uh, I think I think yeah. when he said, hey, I'm not working with you anymore. I'm not working with you right now. I meant maybe he meant when they were both security guards back in the day. OK, OK, OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what yeah, he meant, yeah. because yeah. you're on the scene. You're working with me. <laughs> you're here. You're here to make sure everything runs smoothly. And uh, we all agreed that he was probably the supervisor uh, watching these uh, these new recruits do what he do. Mm -hmm. So that's what I think he meant. Hey, we're not working together right now. Like you're gonna take orders from what my uh, my buck, my little nice little soldier, my little police guys are saying right now. So yeah. Okay. I'm, okay. I mean, I'm not, uh, I'm, not I'm not convinced that the proximate cause of death is the knee. I don't so know what you what else you need, Lisa? I don't know. So are we are we, that, are we just, that pissed me off, but it's all good. Let's let's talk about it a little bit more on Friday. Let's 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 retouch this. Let's 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 sleep over this and then let's go back uh, uh, on uh, on Friday and talk a little bit more about this. Yeah, um, uh, the one thing I want to tell you guys is that I posted a link on the chat uh, for the uh, for the official GoFundMe page for uh, George Floyd Memorial Fund. Okay. Uh, they were they were scheduled to collect 1.5 million dollars. No joke. Uh, they were they were uh, they were um, they, no don't worry I'm gonna put on the I'm gonna put on the screen. They were uh, on track to collect 1.5 million dollars for his funeral, but then as of right now they got 14.699 800 dollars. Yeah. America. America, only in America, bro. Only in America. So, uh, so as of right now, I hope that those horses who were uh, pulling the uh, uh, the whole thing, you know, they're well fed. Uh, hopefully, you know, and everybody got a piece of that pie. I'm fourteen million dollars, man. Just think about if you know. I, I I don't see. I don't. I don't. I don't think. Let's see how much they go for me for Vanessa Gillen. You know. Wait, wait, uh, wait. Now wait. We gonna do Why that? do they need we, a we, memorial we, fund if you if if the funeral was already paid? 
People still donate it. Still, you know? Let so, it go. I knew you were going to say somebody, that. Somebody donated $10, $10 anonymous, 10, 26 minutes ago. Christina Venegas, $20 an hour ago. You know, let's see Vanessa Gillen. How much funny, how much money we, we raised for Jordan this. Jordan Reese Henry, Henry, $26 two hours ago. You know, look at this. For Vanessa, sold it, Vanessa Gillen missing $353,000. You know, George Floyd, you know, uh, uh, it's different. It's uh, it's only being uh, it's only being because, 14 minutes. Yeah, but, you know what they but, do in, in Texas? Well, at least in South Texas, down in the valley. You you know what they do to no. raise money um, for funerals and things like that? No. What do they do? They sell dinner plates. I knew you were going to say some taco something. <sighs> no, they do. You have no idea how many like brisket meals or um, chicken dinners I I bought. Yeah, yeah. But that's my what man. They do. Hey, my man on the chat, um, we're about to close up here, but how much is life worth? That's what I want to know. Does, does, Depends does, on who's does life a life is. does a life have does a this is for this is for Ricky. Does a life have a a dollar sign? Next I think week? I think I can I think I can answer uh um let me see if I got something real quick. Uh where are you? So, so I know a couple of people. I know a couple of people in, uh, in through my life, and uh, I, I I know that uh, I know one one individual uh, back in uh, Junco, Puerto Rico, who uh, was in a in an accident at work, uh, and he lost his hand. You know his his his, his hand, and uh, and he took the uh, the thing to court, and and he was awarded uh, ten million dollars. You know. He was awarded ten million dollars. So let's think about that. One hand, ten million. So two hands, twenty million. Uh, I know this other individual who uh, I saw on the news, and he was in a in this um, in this uh, uh, in this uh, um, inc incident. Um, one second, man, video machine. And then this man, uh, this is the video. Right here, so yeah, yeah, this is the video. So I saw this guy on this video, uh, and then uh, look at what happened right here. Uh, he was working with uh, uh, he was working with a, a, a roll of aluminum. Oh man, you see that? You know, people, uh, uh, but not 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 that one yet. Let me show you one. That is gonna it's gonna it's gonna tell, it's gonna show you something. No, no, that is that one. No, not that one. Look at that brother. Oh shit! Get down, boy. You know, uh, you know what? What I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say. You know, I mean, back to the question is, 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 you know. People, people go through accidents and they, they sue companies and they get millions of dollars for legs, millions of dollars for hands. Uh, I, don't, I don't think that our life is, is, is uh, we can put a steady number on top of anybody. Uh, but if, 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 if it comes to, uh, you know, that I have to give a number, I will say, I will say 100 million, you know, $100 million for each individual life. Okay, then. So um, he got fit $14 million and that's for his family. That's for donations. But, but he's, he's, he's not getting that. That is well, his family. highly inappropriate. There is yeah, actually a way to put a number on a life. It is determined by the age of the individual oh. and their earning potential. Oh, Look here, Lisa. Look here. I... That is how you put a number on somebody's so, so, life so, according to our judicial system. Nah, nobody cares about your judicial uh, whatever. whatever. <laughs> because if my daughter or my son where it's a, there's no price on them. There's no price on their lives. So I can't, I can't, no. Just because of their age and their earning, no, I get that. One second, there's some. Saying, George though. Floyd would have never made $14 million. That is not oh my the appropriate God. amount for his life. According to okay. the judicial system. Yeah, let's cut this up. Let's yeah, I just, I just put a, I just put a, I just put a, a link to a page. I'm where just telling you how it works in a court of law. They have, they have this age and earning potential. 
So, hey, so guys, so I have this, uh, this, I have this life happens, you know, calculator. General information is, it's like a human life value calculator. Let's say the annual income of, of somebody is seventy five thousand dollars. Uh, years to retirement, let's say uh, twenty more, you know, forty. Mm -hmm. Tax rate twenty five. That makes sense. Life insurance in force. Uh, I will say five hundred thousand. Uh, savings. Uh, I will say uh, three fifty. Uh, all the assets. Let's say two hundred thousand. And then, uh, where the heck I go after that? I do the analysis too. Yeah. So the uh, the value equals life insurance needed is human life value at one point six million dollars minus total resources one point five million, uh, one point zero fifty. So the equal. Oh, oh shit! This is bullshit. No, I don't want it. Mm. I don't want it. Anyway, guys, it's been a pleasure having him being here with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we will see you in our next video.